Hello! So last year I made a pair of fairy wings for my fairy costume. They're on the wall behind me right now actually. I since then have been wanting to make another pair. These ones are fine, they are just a little big and I would like to make a smaller pair to wear at like renaissance fairs or events where I'm not going to be such a hazard and potentially knocking things over or bumping into people. Also for these last wings I used wire for the details and when I made my fairy wing hair clips I used paper instead. I like the contrast that the paper provides so I'm going to try and implement that in my new wings. So new wings are going to be smaller and have paper designs. I hope it works on an actual pair of wing wings, we'll find out. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do for this video. Um, yep. I still have all my supplies from when I last made wings and uh, I don't have to buy anything. I'm ready to go and, and mm, wings. Let's, let's make some wings. I started by taking some Bristol paper and sketching my design onto the paper. I think any like thicker paper, like poster paper or cardstock should work just fine for this. My top wings measured about 18 and a half inches. Then I just used an X-Acto blade to cut out the inner details of the wings. With the top wing cut out, I then took it and used it as a guide to sketch out the bottom wing. This helped me just uh, map out the size that I wanted and make sure it uh, looked good with the top wing. Then I just used these first set of wings as a stencil to draw out the second set of wings. Now that the paper details were done, the next step is to add some wire. Oh, hi. I just followed the outline of the wing, making sure to leave plenty of extra wire at the base. My bottom wings have these tails on them. I didn't bother outlining it with the wire and figured it'd be fine without. Then I attached the wire frame to the paper with some tape. I had this leftover metallic tape from my last pair of wings, but I think any tape that's strong enough and can wrap around the wire should be just fine. And the color doesn't even matter because I ended up painting over it with some acrylic paint anyways. The next step is to sandwich each individual wing between some iridescent cellophane. Uh, pro tip, tape it down so it doesn't blow away while you're trying to do this, but then I just use some spray bill adhesive and press the wing right onto the cellophane. Then I added another coat of the adhesive on top of the wing and put some more cellophane on it. Um, if you have an extra pair of hands that can help you hold the cellophane while you place it on top, that would be very useful. I was doing it by myself so it was very tricky and I got a couple of wrinkles in the cellophane. But after all four wings are covered, then you just cut out around the shape of the wing. I leave about an inch of extra cellophane off the edge. Now it's time to put together our separate wings. I do this by taking that extra wire at the base and twisting them together. Then I take those two separate sides and bend the wires into a U-shape, making sure I tuck in any bits of wire that are poking out that I don't want stabbing into my back. And then I take another piece of wire and secure those two together. For extra stability, I then tape over all the wires. The final step is to take a strip of fleece or any soft fabric and glue it around all the wires in the middle. This just makes sure it's comfortable and doesn't snag on any fabric that I'm wearing. 
The wings are worn by sliding them into a corset and yeah, they are now finished and all that's left to do is try them on. They're so cute! I love these. These turned out so pretty. I'm so happy. They're also holding together really well. My first pair of wings that were made out of wire, they were also way bigger than this, so that might have been the problem, but they would droop just a little bit when I would like jump or move quickly, but these ones are holding up really well and they're super light. Between the two styles, I don't know which one I like more. This one just feels very uh, frilly and cute and lacy, and then the other ones feel a bit more realistic and look more like insect wings to me. It's fun having both the styles to, to work with. And uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend making a pair of your own fairy wings. Uh, they're so pretty. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you used it to uh, help make your own set of wings, I'd love to see how they turn out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.